Well, this is obviously the uh, right wing panel, and we've uh, come to the part that is probably uh, going to be the most intimidating, but it need not be. And that's why uh, I want to do this video to show you how to uh, shape the leading edge. It'll actually come out It'll actually come out a lot better than you might think it will. Here's what we're going to do. We've got two drawings here. Um, the airfoils on this wing loft, uh, they begin with a 16% thickness at W1, and they go to about a 13% uh, thickness at uh, W20. So at w, W1, right here, this is W1, here is our uh, leading edge stock. It's one half by uh, two. So, so we have this drawing. Now what we're going to do, we're going to attempt to do, is with a plane, we're going to try to pick up this angle here and come across straight, not all the way down, and then we're going to just plane all of this off. Just straight. We're not going to try to curve anything. We're just going to come straight, pick up the angle of the airfoil where it stops here. It just goes straight across. Now when we get to W20, as you can see, it's tapering a lot, whereas the, uh, the leading edge in the raw here hasn't tapered at all. It's still two inches. So we're going to have to plane off quite a bit more. And the angle will be steeper. Actually, I, I didn't draw this quite right, but the, the idea is the same. We're going to clip it off like this or plane it off just like that. So all of this will be gone and all of this will be gone. This represents that line on the uh, on the leading edge right here. That's the center, that's your datum line, datum line and that's also the cord line of the airfoil. Um, okay, as we go along, let me just say one more thing. You want to use a plane for shaping. Do not use sandpaper well, if you try to use sandpaper, you're going to, uh, it's, it's, it's not going to work very well. A plane is for shaping. We want to bring pretty much the airfoil shape right to where we want it with this plane. Now, the other thing to remember with a plane is it's only going to do what you tell it to do. If I don't move it, it won't cut. So if I move it here and stop, obviously it's, well, it didn't do much but it's only going to do what I, I tell it to do. And I can see what I'm doing. It's only cutting right along this, this blade right here. So I, the value of a plane is, because it is that you can see what you're doing. Now here's the other thing that, to keep in mind. You're always safe in planing down what you know is sticking out too far. I hope that makes sense. As you, and I'll just demonstrate it this way. I haven't done anything yet. But here, this clearly needs to be planed down. But up here near W20, it needs to be planed down quite a bit more. So to be consistent with what I just said, we'll start planing up near W20. And uh, we've got quite a ways to go here, so this is going to take some time. Look at those curls. Kind of fun. It's going to create a mess on the floor. Hope, hope that's okay. I'm just doing this in our garage. Now, if you're going to watch everything that I plane, you'd have a pretty boring build, uh, video. But I've already, I don't know if you can see it or not, this is about a quarter of an inch. We've got about a quarter of an inch to go before we're down to where we want to get. But that's about the same as where we are at W1. So, so now this section is sticking out a little bit too far. So let's just plane here. I've got a, just a little bit of an angle on it, not much. As we get closer, look at that. <laughs> It's kind of fun. It takes craftsmanship to build this airplane. 
and and you wouldn't be building one unless you were a craftsman. So I hope uh, hope I'm not really going over anything that you don't already know. Now, I don't know how much this takes off in one swipe, but I imagine around 15,000, so. You don't have to do too much. Again, I'm planing down where, where um, it's sticking out the most. It's looking pretty good. I'm just going to come back here now. You want to plane all over, meaning that don't just stay in one place here and try to get it perfect, and then you're going to move up here and try to get it perfect. Uh, that'll drive you nuts. It's much better to go slow with a lot of patience and just take the whole thing or shape the whole thing just as if you were going to bring it down all at once. Now, Somebody might ask, and it's a great question, well, do you have any templates that will show us how to make exactly the right uh, curve? Well, obviously the answer is yes, we could do that. Uh, but the problem is this wing at the leading edge tapers. It's much wider at W1 than it is at W20. So you have a taper there. Not only does it taper, but the airfoils are lofting. In other words, they are changing, they're transitioning from a, uh, a 1416 out to a USA, a USA uh, 35B. So these are, <laughs> the shape of the airfoil is changing, therefore the angle going into the uh, leading edge is changing. And that's why you just need to do the whole thing by hand and uh, just pick off the angles as you go. It's, a, it's much easier than you would think. The, the hardest part in, in dealing with this shaping the, uh, the wing is just, it's big and it's somewhat unwieldy. You've got to train yourself to grab it by W9, or you can grab it up here at W1, or it's pretty safe to grab it up here at the wing tip. Obviously, these are balsa wood and you wouldn't want to try to hold this thing here on grabbing W13. That, that would be a mistake. It's going to break. But W but W9 is not going to break. It's all it's three quarter inch basswood. Uh, if it does break, <laughs> you better you better rethink what you're building here. But anyway, uh, let's just take this down a little bit more. I don't know how much time we've got here. Okay, uh, I'm thinking we're probably going to do this in uh, three video sections. I'm going to stop here right now. And, and I bought, first of all, I've only done one side. We still have the wing tip to do. But as you can see, in just a few minutes, I've gotten it down to where it's pretty close to one eighth inch to go, so to speak. We've got, and that would be about 10 more swipes all the way around. Again, picking up the angle of the rib. So what we'll do is stop here, and I'm going to finish just the taper shaping the the rounding shaping we'll do in the in the in the next video so i'll get it up to that point and we'll rejoin you in just a moment